So you've been doing cons for over 20 years now. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of your most memorable con experiences? Um, what, what I thought was um, the Boba Fett character came out and before that I was doing a couple of Bond films. It's very brief, you know, it's a little cameo role. And they said, um, what, do you, what do you think of the character? Do you think your character, this is Roger Moore or, or Sir Roger, one of the funniest and nicest men I've ever met. He said, so what are you doing traveling the world while I'm working hard as James Bond? And you're rushing off going there, this has got to stop, we can't use you again. And the very next day was a letter said, I'm terribly sorry I was uh, so rude, you're in the next Bond film. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that was lovely. I mean, again, a brief character, Smithers. Um, but that was, he is such one of the nicest men I've ever met. That's you phenomenal. Know. That's one way to get a room, huh? But he's charming. Yeah. So you, you would faint as he would come up, my dear. Mm. Yeah. No, lovely, lovely person. Lovely. Hey. Oh, hi. Hi. I was wondering about the casting of Boba Fett. How, how did you land the role? Like well, this is funny enough. I'm, this weekend, my wife and I are going to the Cayman Islands to present an award to my half-brother, who was associate hey. producer in Star Wars. And, right. and he's, um, he, he's just a magnificent man. This is my half-brother. Okay. And the, what, he, what he's done over the years, and he wasn't well, <clears throat> but he's been fantastic, and he just loves people, very good at his job. And he said, look, I know you're in the theater, but why don't you get this part? You know, I, I can put your name forward. There's only a couple of lines. I said, I don't want to do two lines, Robert. <laughs> thanks, thanks, but not two. But as the day went on, he said, get your agent to phone uh, George Lucas. I said, well, I don't know him. <laughs> and he said, no, but if you do, get at least to get an interview, which I did. And I remember George Lucas saying, well... It's not a very big role, but uh, welcome aboard. Yeah. <laughs> I said, did he say welcome aboard? Did he say you're joining? Because I couldn't believe it. He said, it's not a big role, but don't worry. <laughs> and that was it. I did, I think it was five lines and a scream. In a scream. <laughs> so, but it was lovely to have got the part and, you know. And, and now look, he's one of the most iconic yes. Star Wars characters, hands down. That is amazing. Yeah, it's probably that scream that did it. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there was one, one which was funny. I, we were in the carbonite and we were going to take Han Solo down into Slave One. And, and the line I had to turn around and say, put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. So, oh, crikey. <laughs> and, so they said, right, stand by everybody. Stand up, studio, George, thank you. Right, stand by and action. <laughs> nothing happened at all and I said well surely because I had a microphone underneath the helmet and, and uh, alright stand by right, action I turned to Han Solo body lying here body body and there's this mumbling going on and I thought is it me <laughs> this is the start of yeah. right I said right stand by and action. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the sound thing was going on and I didn't dare speak in case I was interrupting something. But anyway, that, that was f funny. It wasn't, but I thought I was going to get fired. <laughs> But it, it happened, I did the job and said, thank you very much. And I remember George was saying, thank you, Jeremy, see you soon. And I went off and then I was in the next film. As hard, <laughs> but hardly speaking, maybe I should be doing more speaking than <laughs> normal. But thank you, thank you for that question. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, no worries. It's a pleasure to meet you, thank you. And you, thank you. Do you do comedy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just checking. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Aww. Does your daughter have a question? 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> she can if she wants. <laughs> of course. Anybody else have a question? Don't be shy. We're all friends here. Oh, wow. Look at you. Wow. <laughs> That's Hello. amazing. Hello. Jeremy. Um, there's talks of reprising the role. Not you exactly, but who do you think would be a good actor to reprise the role of Boba Fett if they do bring him back? Um, there's that, rumors of Tom Hardy, good, but... That's a good question. That, um, there's... Who? Okay. I, I mean, if, if he, he's probably getting a little bit old now, but Daniel Craig... Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. He's very good. My, yeah. Funnily enough, my younger son played in a, in a role with Daniel Craig. Played the young Daniel Craig. For mm -hmm. a while. So, so it's all getting mixed up. This this. <laughs> but I, I think I, I'd like to see someone like Daniel Craig. Yeah, that's a good actor. He's a good actor. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Tom Hardy, though, wouldn't oh, be a terrible idea. For many other reasons, though. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would uh, cast my vote for Tom Hardy if yeah. that was an option for sure. That's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. I don't think he likes him too much. Tom Hardy? <laughs> How do you feel about Tom Hardy? <laughs> Tom Hardy, oh, he's terrific. He's oh, terrific, he's yeah, he would be good as... He, as he's, uh, maybe he's too dangerous. Too he's, handsome, he's, I know. Too just handsome, yeah. a little yeah. bit, you don't know what's going to happen, but he is a wonderful actor. Yeah, he is. Yeah, um, he is. So you could do two versions. Yeah. You know, get the audience to pay extra money. <laughs> <laughs> to, we're going to do this twice, ladies and gentlemen. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. <laughs> what if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot. I've got to stop this. <laughs> so you could do it twice. Yeah, why not? Yeah. not? That's a good point. But Tom Hardy, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. That's great, by the way. Thank you. Phenomenal. Hi. Hi there. So the uh, Mandalorian mercs uh, take a lot of liberties with their costume design. I'm just wondering take on the uh, um, interesting ideas that they come up with and interpretations of, of the, uh, the armor. Well, you see a lot of people out here <laughs> making some fantastic armor. Um, did, did you, sorry, I didn't pick up everything, but did you, we, did you talk about the armor? Yeah, yeah, the, mm -hmm. the Mandalorian armor, a lot of the, the Mandalorian mercs do a lot of uh, creative interpretations uh, of, of that. I don't know if you've seen them, but uh, um, they, they come up with, with vast, wild I oh, ideas yeah. and, and interesting interpretations. Just wondering you, uh, what, where your take oh, no, was I think, I think where it's, it's gone. I, I think it's terrific. Some of the outfits, are, I mean, there's some strange rings around like a bull. There's so many, they've got all the guys, the Mercs and the 501st, really are working at making something completely different in the next year. So that, to me, I mean, I have my outfit that I've worn for charity and I'll be doing it again this year. But that's when I become alive. <laughs> Put captains. Oh, no, I can't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So that, that would be me. I, I'd love to play Boba Fett again, but that's gone now. So we just wait and see. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you I have much. seen them. Um, I think there is a, right now, a current trend with the with the Boba Fett armor. I've seen a lot of cosplayers yes. um, doing their own interpretation. Like I've seen Disney process Boba Fett. I've seen like Attack of Titan Boba Fett. People are doing a lot of cr like crossovers with one one interest, one fandom, and another. So I've seen like, like the like the Disney princess Boba Fett, for example. They're the Disney princesses, but as Boba Fett. If you, you have, can imagine. Do you have it. time to eat? No, <laughs> no. No, you must be, must be busy. <laughs> no, but the, some of the costumes made from nothing. Virtually, you know, I'm going to mm -hmm. really work hard at this, and it's a six to seven month job that people are making. And I respect all those people. They've mm -hmm. all their spare time has gone on making magnificent costumes. Absolutely, really. it's incredible. It's, it's absolutely wild. Some of the stuff they come up with. You guys have seen the Disney Princess one, right? They're like pretty. I, I, it's gone pretty viral online. But anybody else have a question? Jeremy. <laughs> I'm sure you're talking to me. I thought it was That's a you. cat. Um, so. <laughs> uh, well, personally, uh, I think we as an audience can all say that it's, it's kind of hard to judge um, 
you know, the actor's real character and who they really are because you see, you know, what they're impersonating in their character. And, and you, as, you know, an actor working with uh, Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford and, and Carrie Fisher and, and everyone else in that, in Star Wars, who's absolutely amazing, um, I just, I guess my question is, to you, what is, you know, are they good people to work with, you know? Oh, they're <laughs> terrific people to work with. You have odd moments where people are getting grumpy because they haven't <laughs> quite got the lines right, rather like me. But they, they get a bit... But working with Carrie Fisher is an absolute hoot. She just, she's a very funny lady. And she's great fun to be with, Mark Hamill. And Harrison Ford, I only met briefly once. It's funny, it can happen, but several weeks on a certain part. But I never got to say, you know, hi, Harrison, it's really lovely what you're doing, but I've never got to that place. Really? No, oh, it's yeah. funny, it can happen. I mean, a lot of it, it goes to the, the one line where it says, Boba Fett, where? That's the only time we've really spoken. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not through anything, thing. it's just that I happen not to be on the set at the time. So, oh, really these things happen. Thank you. <laughs> but I hear he's a very nice man. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. Uh, we all do. Yeah. So, any more, any more questions? I know it's the, the, the Friday before the storm, but, ah, just run. <laughs> it's laughing already. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Um, see, now Boba Fett is like one of the most awesome characters. Uh, do you wish he would have had more scenes in the original trilogy? Um, yeah, yeah, Boba Fett is a popular character, and it's not just down to me. And I, I agree with you. I think it would be nice if he'd had more, more dialogue. To just seen a couple of scenes, something quite serious. Yeah, it would have been nice, but you know these things happen or they don't happen. But it's a good idea to push forward. Occasionally, I would have said. Come on, you need bigger scenes for Boba Fett. Make it a two-hour movie. He should have got his own movie. Yeah, he should have. Yeah, there's yeah. still time. Yeah, no, yeah, you're still right. You should yeah. get your own movie. That's very kind of you to... Yeah. With, with more action. More action. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Well, later on, I'll be doing a bit of Shakespeare. Oh. Especially for you. It's the two-and-a-half-hour version. <laughs> well, no, it's, you'll have to stay here most of the time, but, <clears throat> you know, just think about what you're going to play <laughs> Hamlet <laughs> later on. But thank you for your question there. Thank you. That's very good. It's another man on the dark side. Can we go? It's a cloak. Is that a cloak? Uh, nah. This is just uh, Kylo Ren. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. It's very good. Um... What I want to say, uh, hello, first of all. Um, while filming Star Wars, uh, did you expect Boba Fett to have such a cu cultural impact that it has today? No, I mean, when people say, I cannot believe that you got so popular, I said, it's not me, it's the character. The way it's done, which is thrilling, you know, for an actor, you just go, wow, I hardly have to do anything because he's, he's just there, he's standing still, the character. So really it helps me uh, as an actor that, you know, they've, they go around and you just have to say one little move, someone behind you, someone behind you. Uh -oh. <laughs> is, that, is that the shoot manager of the show behind there? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's very good, thanks. That was quick, wasn't it? Was yeah. he helping us get through the evening, Just maybe? Time flies when yeah. you're having fun, you know? Yeah. yeah, but this is, luckily this show is, or this talk, will be going on for another th seven hours. I think it's seven or eight, um, yeah. yeah. Seven or eight hours, so. And we're gonna do the Hope you packed a lunch. <laughs> slower version or the quicker version of Hamlet? Uh, slower, ideally, yeah. Yes. To be or not to be, that is the question. Yes! Hmm? <laughs> Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, to sleep, to die no more. Yes. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> um, Simple. Did you know?
before we take your question, this is a perfect segue, that there is a Star Wars Shakespeare crossover book. Good gracious, no, I didn't There absolutely that. is. And if you do love Shakespeare, mm -hmm. you would absolutely love these books. They're a little comical, but it's basically Star Wars, um, the Star Wars universe, um, written uh, like Shakespeare would write. Oh, it's it's that, phenomenal. Seems. They're really, really, really good. They're done really well. It's such a difficult thing um, to do, yeah. to adapt something like Star Wars, that universe, to Shakespeare, but it works so well. It's amazing. Well, that's good. Uh, as yeah. soon as we get back to London, I shall You absolutely out. should, yeah. Fine. Gotta go to Waterstones. Um, sorry, I interrupted you. That is your question. Sorry. No, not a problem. Um, my question: On a scale of one to ten, how comfortable was the costume? <laughs> ten. No, no, sorry. Naught. <laughs> it is the most uncomfortable costume I've ever worn in 50 years now. Acting, awful. But being Boba Fett. Yes, I just walked around without any screeching, hollow, no, no upsets, just dip on your um, But, uh, good question, nasty, it just, just didn't fit. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Thank you very much, thanks. Did they have to take your measurements and make your measurements? Yes, they all do that, but it was, uh, you put the outfit on the very first day and they said, Yes, that's fine. Zip up here, <laughs> put the jetpack in, and you immediately went, yeah. oh. Because the jetpack wasn't just a lightweight piece of plastic. It was a proper costume and proper jetpack that was so heavy. Oh, my goodness. It, in a way, they're making the character have to work. Mm -hmm. You know, he comes on stage or he comes on set. You've got to work. You've got to be, be you know... Absolutely. Fat yeah. And and be unhappy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gets you in the character, huh? But it's um, no, it wasn't a, a nice costume at all. I don't think anybody would have liked. Yeah, no. I can't imagine. So, <laughs> nah. Nah. Hey. Hello. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me okay? See you there. Can you hear me okay in this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, who is your favorite new character in The Force Awakens, and why? In The Force Awakens, which I loved, by the way, I thought it was a terrific film, are the two leads, girl and boy, both of them equal. I mean, I, they, they pushed that with such energy that they kept it going, because a lot of the time you can get into a sequence where you start to get everyone sort of going down there and I'm half asleep here. But that never stopped, mm. and it was a terrific Absolutely, I 100% agree. That was actually my number one uh, comment when I went and saw the film, that uh, Ray and Finn, their energy was so good and that dynamic like really kept you interested and invested in the movie. And like, you didn't, when, when it was over, you're like, oh. You know, sometimes you're kind of waiting for a film to be over. You're like, mm. or, or portions can drag and you kind of oh, wish can. it was over or you take a nap, you know. But I think they did such a good job with um, keeping the energy and momentum up in that film. They're yeah. two great characters. No, but it's funny because my wife and I went to see the film together. There wasn't one other person in the cinema. All, all the kids were at school. Oh, nice. And we watched this powerful bang music crash, and it was just fantastic. You would not, I was knocked off my feet. Oh. Let you go, crikey, that was great. And you felt really good, you know. What's going to happen next? Now, wait, what's going to happen next? Yeah, what's going to happen next? There's a lot of theories online that I've been reading. I spend too much time on forums, so I'm excited to see where they take that, uh, that side of the universe for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Kylo Ren, <laughs> you're next. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, did you, have you heard about, um, I'm trying to blank now, James Earl Jones being recast as Darth Vader in Rogue One? Have you heard about that? No, I haven't. No. That, that, that's another one I, I haven't heard. Unless Interesting. Someone, yeah, yeah. Really? Also, Is that like unless, going around? Unless Reddit's just wrong. I, 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 okay, the I, internet I, never unless, lies. Unless I'm <laughs> <laughs> also, um, were you given any background? Oh. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe they won't have him in the suit, but I can't... No, it's the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah the voice. Yeah, that'd be phenomenal. Yeah. That'd be great, yeah. Oh, best. So good. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm working on mine, but it's not quite, you yeah. know, <laughs> Darth Vader. No, it's difficult. It's such also, an iconic quick, voice. Uh, how much, uh, were you given any background information on Boba Fett, the character, no, Mandalorians, or actually anything? Actually, it's funny, because I never knew. It was just, he's a bounty hunter. He's fairly dangerous and flies several ships. I think he has slave one, slave three. I don't know what happened to slave two. <laughs> But he does have two ships, three ships. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right? In fact, there's one outside. Yeah. <laughs> As if you want to move the traffic quickly. Thank you. Yeah, nothing can move Miami traffic. No. What do you, what do you drive? Where I drive? Yes. Uh, an AT-AT. Just walk over AT -AT. the traffic. Oh. The you know, big tall guys, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, how am I to know I don't live here? Uh, <laughs> I don't drive an actual car. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I was making a Star Wars joke. Oh, I, that was a joke, was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, blimey. People are so funny. Oh. <laughs> so, sorry. That's yeah. okay. Um, um, you were also in Star Wars Episode Three, correct? Yes. Okay, is that the picture, the second one in? Was that the... The one, the, one, the first one is Captain Colton with the funny ear things. Okay, right. made people, And then Lieutenant Shekel. Okay. It was very funny because on the set they suddenly said, Jeremy, can you get changed, go to wardrobe, the message is through. I said, well, just go, go, go. So I came back in that outfit, as yeah. Lieutenant Shekel. They said, I said, what's happening? He said, just please, so it was all please, just we've a, got to do it as quickly a, as possible. You didn't even realize you were going to be doing this, the no. other role. No. Interesting. Yes, so I did that. And then in the last film, then it was Captain Colton. So I had three parts, which was nice of them. <laughs> to, oh, okay. I don't understand what happened, but... <laughs> that says, okay, all right. I'm, he I'm here, <laughs> back again. Right, thank, you. <laughs> thank you very much, thanks. Look, are you... Are you like a good guy? What? <laughs> he, he wants to know if Boba Fett's a good guy or a bad guy, and when I an gave him the answer, he wanted to know why. If you have any... Uh, thoughts on that. Boba Fett's a good guy. <laughs> he's misunderstood. <laughs> but he's a, he's a good guy. We were at, um, I think it was Magic City Comic Con, and had a chance to meet the actor who played um, Darth Vader. And we were absolutely amazed at how big that he was. And I've seen pictures online. David Prowse, of, yeah. Yes, yeah. of the actor who played, say, Chewbacca next to Harrison Ford. Were there any other... Um, I guess uh, stories that you have from on set that would surprise the audience because you know we only see what ends up on film. It's very difficult when you say surprise the audience because <laughs> it's got to surprise them to go. Um, when the carbon freezing chamber scene was happening and Darth Vader is marching through, I trod on his cloak <laughs> and he, he went ooh <laughs> like this. And I just got this look from Dave. <laughs> Sorry about that, Dave. Right, come on, stand by, everyone. Here's another one, studio. Let's go, let's go. And, uh, so, so that was sort of another embarrassment. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much, thanks. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, hi, how are you? Good, good thanks. Good. What do you think about James Earl Jones reprising his role as Darth Vader in the, oh, the new Star Wars movie? Terrific. Okay. He's, got the most, he's got one of those voices that comes along maybe every 10 years because it's an extraordinary voice. Yeah, it's, it's, he, he doesn't have to do anything. No, he just goes, he just exists. I, I'm not going to try and copy it. <laughs> no, but, uh, Is this you in the well, white? Is it, the, what, is it lost? The bulb of, yeah, you can bring it closer. Yes, you can. When was that? 1978. Oh, that's me, yes. Oh, it is? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's what my husband got his white. I, uh, the white. I did. They, they, did, they were doing tests. Yes. Uh, oh, my thing. God. I, it never shows I, your face. That's why no, I'm but it didn't because I put it on. Then I had to go to the theater, so someone else put it on. Oh. And that's what was happening. You were, you were very much switching and changing and doing things. Okay. That's but so cool. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Like 1978. So cool. Yeah. 
You mentioned before that you had done theater. What was your favorite play that you were in, and what was your favorite character that you portrayed? Mm. My favorite play was uh, called Dangerous Obsession. And this was um, a thriller that um, was supposed to keep the audience really up like this, which was, which was absolutely right. It was the most amazing play, because you were doing it when this man arrives at the back of the house, comes on stage and starts playing music. And my wife in the, in the stage place turns around and says, What's, what do you want? Go away. What do you want? Go away. She keeps saying it. And then I arrive back and I said, what's going on? Something's happening in there. And the, the audience on this one particular night just went, <sighs> because this strange man arrives and I don't mind, I don't know what's going on. And then suddenly she says, this man's followed me. He followed me. I can't breathe, I can't. And it was the most amazing, just three of us on stage. And it ran for a year and a half. And when, when we finished, I remember that last night, I said, oh, I can't do that anymore. A year and a half. <laughs> it was just taking such a thing, you know, catching breath, of gun fired on stage. But, you know, it got huge numbers of hits from people and say, you must go and see this play. That's rewarding when someone says, that was fantastic. And, and I stayed in it for a long time because I, I, I believed in the in the play. And Dang. you've done a lot of theatre, right? A lot of theatre. I've done nine plays in the West End. Oh, uh, wow. Which is good. Which is 20 years ago now, in the last. And you get to a point where you think, I've had enough of that. I must do something I want to do. Because you tend to get asked, Jeremy, this will be great. My agent said, yeah, I think it'll be terrific in this. You've got to do it now. And you go, yes, okay. And you start rehearsing the next day. And then, really, you should have taken your time. Right, you know. absolutely. But I did it. And, but, I'm, you know, that was, it was a lovely play to do. It was terrific. I'm still feeling the hands shaking. <laughs> um, what do you think uh, is the dynamic difference between performing on stage live in a play rather than, you know, recording for a film? Recording is not as good as I'm in a play live and you're picking, selecting things out of a speech you can do. Um, it's not the same, you know. You, if you're live, live theater is the best, then live television, rare today, rare, that's yeah. the second yep. best. Uh, I went, when I was in London recently, I went and saw a theater play for the first time in a while. Mm. And it was like, I forgot how incredible live acting is. Oh. It's a totally different immersion than going to the theater and seeing a film to yeah. see the, the, difference, like the differences between the acting. It was incredible. Oh, it was, it's, it's, it's incredible, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like um, uh, more people Don't should Don't worry, know. sir, it gets funnier. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> she got, she's walked out on your performance. <laughs> Can't have that. <laughs> Anybody else have questions? Yeah. I just make it sort of one more. Only one more. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So you know, in the film and TV industry, you get a lot of actors' characters killed off. How? What was your reaction when you found out that your character Boba Fett was going to die? Sorry, can you see, receive that? Sorry, can you do that again? I'm okay. sorry, that's my sorry. fault. Um, I was saying that there's a lot of actors, characters that get killed off in the TV and film industry. I just wanted to know what was your reaction when you found out that your character Boba Fett was supposed to die in, in the last film? In, in the last one, I thought he'd gone. That was the end of Boba Fett. But then suddenly you're hearing from George Lucas himself. He, he gets back and he's alive and he's got out of the Sarlacc pit. Because that Sarlacc pit, it, don't go there. Don't go there. It's not a great really place. It really is really nasty. Terrible place. A terrible yeah. place. Mm -hmm. And it's a fortune to buy a food. You get these tentacles. I know. It's expensive. You, yes. The inflation now? Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. they use it in, you know, lovely food. But uh, a bit worried about that. Yeah, me too. In interesting question, that. 
I'll catch you on that tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, good evening. How you doing? Good. Um, if you had a dream role, what would it be? Um, good question. Um, probably Hamlet. I've played Hamlet, but not, not in the West End. That would have been nice, but it's too late now. I think Hamlet. That would be nice. And Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> they don't listen, do they? You know, mm. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. That's why they're here. Yeah. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. So you... we'll probably have one more question. Sure, absolutely. Who wants to? One end... more question. But it has to be like a really good question. So no pressure. <laughs> Who's got like a really good question? You can. Mm, uh. 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 Yeah, now you guys have to fight oh, it out. Yes, you have to fight good. this Kylo Ren. Do the first speech in Hamlet, and then you've got it. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't wave hands. <laughs> Be confident. Uh... Sir, would you like to? Would you like to come to the mic? Oh, he's just taking your photo. Oh, he's just taking. Oh, I see. I'm yeah. sorry. So hopefully, this is your good side. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, this better be ask, really uh, good. How how did you feel about the portrayal of Jango Fett and Boba Fett in episode two of Star Wars? I don't, sorry, I didn't. He said, how did you feel about the portrayal of Jango Fett and Boba Fett? Well, I think that as it, as it was going along, I think that's fine because Tamura Morrison is a good actor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was in changing all the time. I think, you know, after the first three films, or which are the second three or whatever, um, things, they were going a, a, in a different direction or thought they were. Right. But uh, Tamura, again, was a wonderful actor and then you knew that it's going to be New Zealand accents. Mm -hmm. So, New Zealand accents. What if he doesn't survive? He's with a lot to me. And I mean, it's, like uh, that accent. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> so, well, well, we'll stay here till midnight and get the right tunes. Um, no, but using different... I thought the betrayal... Betrayal... Betrayal. The betrayal. <laughs> I th thought that was fine. There was no problem there at all. Were you surprised at all when you found out Boba Fett was a clone? Yeah, I was a bit surprised, yeah. A bit surprised, but I've got over that now. <laughs> <laughs> He's come to terms with it. <laughs> Thank All right. you very much indeed. Yeah, Thanks. thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Awesome.